Investigation one is on fractions and percents. We'll be using some manipulatives, they're called, to help you understand fractions and percents. They want you to cut out activity sheets one through six and cut the fraction manipulatives out that are in those activity sheets one through six. So go ahead and do that first and get an envelope or a Ziploc bag to put them in. Now these investigations, they are a little bit different than just the regular lessons because they'll focus just on one or two particular topics and all the problems in that investigation will be based on that particular topic. As you know, the most of the lessons in the Saxon book, or all of them actually, they're all based on review and they'll have a few problems from that particular lesson, but then the rest of it is review from previous lessons. And that's one thing that's different about the investigations. They'll just focus on one or two particular topics. And like this one on fractions and percents, that's a very, very important topic to understand. If you don't understand fractions and you don't understand that percent is just another way to write a fraction, as well as a decimal, that's another way to write a fraction as well. If you don't understand that, then it's going to make the rest of your mathematics more difficult for you. A lot of people don't think they're any good at math. Or they give up on math simply because they don't understand fractions. So take the time you need to, to do well and to understand fractions. And using these fraction manipulatives will really help you do that. I've drawn three circles on the board. And hopefully you can tell the first one I split into two pieces, the second one into four, and the third one into eight sections. So we would say that I split the first one into halves, the second one into fourths, and the third one into eighths. And if I shade one section in each of those circles, that's equal to I'm, I'm shading in a fraction of each circle. A fraction is basically part of a whole. So the first one I shaded in one part out of two one over two, one half of the circle is shaded. That's all a fraction is. It's part of a whole. The second circle I shaded in one section out of four. One over four is how we would write that as a fraction. One fourth of the circle is shaded. And then the third one I shaded in one out of eight sections. One-eighth of that circle is shaded. So we have half, fourth, and an eighth. And one-half, I could write that as a percent. That's 50 percent. Percent is another way to write a fraction. Per cent means per 100. So 50 percent means 50 per 100. Half of 100 is 50, right? So 50 percent is the same thing as half of a whole. And then a third way to write it is as a decimal, 0 0.5. We call that place where the 5 is to the right. It's the first position to the right of that decimal point. We call that the tenths place. So we can call that 5 tenths. Well, think about that. 5 tenths as a fraction, that would just be 5 over 10, right? That's the same thing as 1 half. On your fraction manipulatives, you'll see that they'll show the, they'll write the number half, they'll write 50 percent, they'll also write the decimal form, 0 0.5. Now another fraction manipulative that you have is one fourth. In percent form, that is 25 percent. And think about a dollar. A dollar is a hundred cents, right? Well, a quarter, that's a fourth of a dollar, right? It takes four quarters to make a dollar. And a quarter is 25 cents. So a quarter is 25% of a dollar. You could think of it like that as well. In decimal form, it would be 0 0.25. And then 1 eighth, that is 12.5%. And then in decimal form, we would say 0 0.125. Use those fraction manipulatives to help you understand fractions. Memorize the fraction, the decimal, the percent form of each one of those fraction manipulatives. 
understand that a fraction is just representing part of a whole. That's, that's all it is. So go ahead and get your, if you haven't done this already, get those activity sheets, cut those fraction manipulatives out, and then do the problems in the investigation. And that's all for investigation one.